Hi guys, it's Tech Boy here with yet another different style video. This video is a how-to, almost like a tutorial video on how to make your PowerPoint presentations in widescreen. So when I say that, for all of you regular viewers out there who normally watch all my videos, you'll notice that I never have the black bars on the left and the right hand side of the screen. So in this video, I was planning on teaching you how to eliminate those black bars on the side and inc increase more of a canvas, you could say, t for you to put your PowerPoint presentations on. Because as you notice in my presentations on my YouTube videos, that I need the full screen in order to have the space to put all the images and all the text and all that, because that's the style of videos I'm doing. So I just thought there would be people out there that were curious of how this is done so I thought well let's make a video and explain how it is achieved so to do this I'm just going to escape out of it for now and what I do is at the top normally the home tab is opened there when you open the program app for starters so I click on design then I go to page setup here which is in the far left hand side in the left corner then you'll see this little box open here and it says slides sized 4 on screen show 4 by 3 aspect ratio. That basically means is that you've almost got a square image on the screen which is like what I had before. So the easiest way to fix this is click on the down arrow and click 16 by 9 which is the aspect ratio of my laptop's display which is probably how it gets recorded. So you'll notice in the background it goes from more of a square image when I hit OK to more of a rectangle image. And then I hit F5 on my keyboard to get back. You will see it is now in widescreen. So there's no black bars on either side. It is as simple as that. I haven't personally found a way how to make it permanent every single time I go to open up PowerPoint. But at least it's a tiny work around it's not like a lot of settings and all that and I thought there would possibly be a few people out there who were curious how this was achieved so that's why I headed with and did this video so that's it for this video the question for you the audience is do you want to see more video tutorials from this channel in the future more in the style of how I've just done it or in possibly another way of doing it. It could be for something like setting up the fingerprint sensor on the iPhone 5S for example. If you guys want to see video tutorials like that, please let me know in the comment section below. So you can let me know by leaving the comment below. And if you enjoyed this whole idea, please give it a like and if you choose to, subscribe to my channel, but only if you want to. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will catch you later.